Hi, so uh, this time I'm going to make a whole bunch of holiday recommendations for you on uh, films that I think you should go and check out. Uh, so first off, I'm gonna, I don't have a lot of them uh, on disc or video or anything, but it's uh, really, uh, you know, it's a holiday edition, so you, chances are you're going to be seeing them on the TV listings is the thinking behind this. Uh, but one that I picked up at Walgreens for a dollar was a um, Danny K movie called The Inspector General. And if you know anything about Danny K movies, they're pretty fun, uh, very funny, and uh, they generally, you know, uh, have a decent amount of humor to them so that they're kind of family friendly um, and the kids will like it and all that. Uh, this one also comes with uh, the Magic Sword and a Wizard of Oz cartoon. Uh, the Wizard of Oz cartoon is nothing really special unless you happen to appreciate older uh, style cartoons. Uh, the Magic Sword uh, features, you know, a small smattering of uh, decent actors. But uh, the Inspector General is featured on it as the real winner because uh, the licensing rights to these films are really cheap. So they can afford to put them on a disc, put it in a box that you can't reuse once it's opened. It's The disc is literally stuck in there, face side down, with uh, like that sticky glue that you find in the magazine sometimes, uh, or sometimes in your junk mail. Uh, so you'll have to put it in a CD wallet once you get it home. But the disc is decent quality at least. And, uh, you know, it it's amusing, it's a good uh, story. They didn't do a very good job of digitally restoring it, if they did at all. Um, but, you know, it's for a dollar. So, you know, you can't really complain too much about the price. That aside, uh, I would also recommend you check out the film Surviving Christmas with Ben Affleck. Uh, it was surprisingly good. Uh, decent cast of characters. A uh, bit of an interesting romantic comedy element. Um, uh, one I would te definitely tell you to avoid is one that I saw last Christmas on TV. And I they had it uploaded to Hulu. So I thought I would watch it again because it was so bad that my memory actually blanked on it. And it was called uh, Holiday in Handcuffs, uh, which at first sounds like, hey, hey, kinky. But it stars uh, Mario Lopez from, better known as uh, Jesse, or A.C. Slater from uh, Saved by the Bell. And uh, Melissa Joan Hart, better known as Clarissa from Clarissa Explains It All. Or Sabrina from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Uh not a very good movie, to say the least. It was actually painful to watch. Uh, the plot, premise, whole storyline, very predictable. Uh, not very original. No real interesting twists or turns. Uh, no real standout casting. Uh, and none of the actors that you actually might recognize are even good enough to really jump out at you. Uh, one interesting choice in casting was that uh, the guy that uh, you know ha plays uh, George W. Bush a lot for impersonations and stuff, like he was on That's My Bush, and he was on the uh, I Love the New Millennium uh, show as George W. Bush. Uh, he plays the dad, and all the while I'm thinking, is he supposed to look like George Bush? Is he supposed to, you know, is this supposed to be a commentary on something? And it's like, no, he's just there. He's just an actor and he's just playing a different part. But he still gets the gestures down, like occasionally when he raises his eyebrows or something. It's really weak as a movie goes. 
I'll stop talking about it now. Um, one that uh, is actually a winner every time, if you're much more interested in less romantic comedy, more action, either of the first two Die Hard movies both take place at Christmas and are wonderful for action and everything. There's a reason why, you know, they're so big. Uh, another good one is The Long Kiss Goodnight, uh, which takes place around Christmas and New Year's. Uh, really a lot of fun. Stars Gina Davis and uh, Samuel L. Jackson, and has a lot of the same really good touches as um, as the Die Hard movies, but, you know, is, is on a different bend, uh, totally different vein, has a little bit of an element of the born identity in uh, La Femme Nikita to the uh, plot. So I think uh, in terms of that combination, if you're really into the action spy thriller genre, those will definitely uh, have you entertained. Uh, one that Ben Affleck did star in that was kind of Christmassy themed that was an action one was Reindeer Games. I've heard mixed reviews on it. I've seen parts of it, and it's not terrible, but it's not great. It didn't exactly get rave reviews. It's not exactly one that is on everyone's must-have list of DVDs. So, you know, take a chance with that one if you feel like it, if you're a big fan of Ben Affleck. Um, in terms of... Uh, in, in terms of, uh, you know doing the uh, holiday specials and whatnot. If you have kids, there is one uh, that Disney recently came out with, and I think they're showing it a lot uh, this holiday. I think I've seen it twice already on ABC alone. Uh, it was... It, it's some CGI one. I, I forget the name of it, to be honest. Um, but it's pretty good, and uh, it, it it doesn't deal so much with finding the meaning of Christmas or discovering the spirit of Christmas and more just with, uh, you know, your feelings about your job, your life, uh, and how you treat things. Uh, that being said, it's kind of an amusing thing to watch. Uh, it's like takeoff and landing or something like that. I, I honestly can't remember the name of it, but... It's cute. It's not in the typical Disney style. It's also not in the Pixar style. It's it's its own entity, really. Uh, but it's uh, it's a good one, and it kind of shows a lot of originality on Disney's part with uh, with things. It gets totally away from the Santa Claus and all those other movies. Uh, but uh, one other good one was on Hulu, which is uh, Inspector Gadget Saves Christmas, which I know it's like what. But it was actually really good and a lot of fun. And I think that if you watch it with your kids, they'll get a lot out of it. Uh, they will probably not know who Inspector Gadget is, but that doesn't matter because it's just fun. Uh, and, you know, I, I got a big kick out of it. So uh, check that out. Uh, one important thing is uh, that, you know, like anything having to do with Christmas and in terms of like uh, you know Christmas foods or Christmas uh, specials or Christmas decoration don't go overboard because you'll get sick of it quickly if you go overboard on the Christmas decorations it'll look cheesy if you go overboard on the Christmas food you'll put on a lot of weight or get sick to your stomach or you know especially with the cookies go diabetic uh, and if you watch too many Christmas specials, you'll probably, you know, start to lose your mind a little bit. Um, so, you know, try and balance it out if you can, you know, with not watching TV. Read a good book. Uh, one that I recommend is a recent New York Times bestseller called The Charlemagne Pursuit. Uh, it's an amusing, uh, sizable novel that'll, uh, that if you read it straight through what break time you have this holiday, you'll probably enjoy it a lot. It has a lot of twists, turns, and suspense. Uh, and has a pretty good uh, way of writing uh, dialogue. It's by uh, Steve Barry. Uh, and it's um, it just has a lot of mystery twists. I'm not done with it yet. 
Uh, but uh, also, you know, listen to some music. Uh, enjoy some quiet time. Play some games with your family uh, or friends this holiday. Uh, you know, so that it's not just about, oh, it's Christmas, it's Christmas, and whatnot. You know, actually do something fun. Uh, and, uh, of course, if you're choosing to drink, uh, have a designated driver. Uh, so that's all for now. That's it for this holiday edition of uh, Film Recommendations. Bye-bye.